All right, y'all. So let's talk about Johnny real quick. Um, so I think this is going to be my final time, like, talking about him for a while. Um, uh, his neutral is, like, the weakest thing about him. Uh, his damage isn't necessarily bad. Um, you know what I mean? So I'm not, I'm not going to cap and be like, yeah, his damage is whack or shit like that. Because I, I don't think it is. I think, like, especially when he has the star gauge, you know, activated, like, he... He, he can definitely get the damage, like, meterously with just the star gauge. Um, you know, and of course, if he wants to extend the damage even further, he would use a cameo fighter. So, the, the biggest weakness with Johnny Cage is that, like, when he's in the neutral, for, for starters, uh, his normals are extremely short-ranged. Um, so, characters like Kenshi could literally out-neutral this nigga and don't necessarily even have to play unbelievably aggressive, right? They, they really don't have to do that, but they choose to do that for some weird reason, right? The, the, which is not a good thing because you're, you're allowing Johnny to get in, right? If I'm playing as Kenshi, I'm, I'm going to make it very difficult for a Johnny Cage player to get in on me. I'm, I'm going to be out neutraling the fuck out of you to the point where you're going to be forced to use bars and meter, which is going to benefit me greatly because every time I touch you, especially when I call out my Sento stance, it's going to be a problem and this Sento stance that Kenshi has is fucking cheap the fact that he can guard and then attack me at the same time is bullshit I don't care what anybody else has to say I don't care if you're a high level player don't care if you're a well-known MK YouTuber that loves MK just like the next fan I don't give a fuck you're not going to tell me that 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 made sense like he can attack and defend at the same fucking time that's some bullshit you can say what you want I don't really give a fuck but that's some cheap ass shit okay so let, let's let's just let's just get that out the way. Now, Kenchi, he's a combination between his MKX variations, between Balance and Kenjutsu, and it's like Balance and Kenjutsu had a baby, and then all of a sudden, Sento appeared out of nowhere, right? Because um, as you can clearly see, this motherfucker can mix my fucking shit up, and I'm taking all this fucking chip, and he's building all this damn meter, and it's like he has a third player on the fucking team, which is bullshit. Now, back to Johnny. Johnny has a shadow kick, but he can't get a, a mind game off of it, where if he spins a bar, his shadow kick turns into a mid. You understand what I'm saying? So it, it, it's just strictly a fucking high, which is kind of strange to me because Scorpion Spear is a mid when you meter burn it, and it's a high if you don't spin the bar of meter. So I'm a little perplexed on that. Now let me stop calling it meter burn because they call it enhance in this game, and MK11 they call it amplify, so they keep trying changing terminology for what they classify it as you know meter burning and shit for some weird fucking reason anyway that's besides the fucking point the point is is that johnny cage's biggest weakness is when he's in the neutral because he can get punished even if you set the shit up correctly um and i'm talking about where you go for his taunts um there's times where you can kind of get away with it if the opponent's not expecting it because they're 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 trying to figure out if you're going to get in or not but he has the shadow kick he has the, the shadow uh, dash or dodge or whatever. He's vulnerable with the, the dodge or the dash or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, he's extremely vulnerable to the point where like he can get full combo punished just for doing it. Right? So you, you really got to lab with it and see what the player can do and what they can't do. And you got to learn this with each and every different fucking character with, when it comes to this character. Like I said before, his range is bullshit. So it kind of seems like you, you, in order to close the distance in a neutral, you got to rely like on his movement and kind of out neutraling the opponent, which means that you got to be in their range in order to be in your range. And that's fucking terrible. That's, that's, that's terrible. That's, that's, that's fucked up. Now, even when Johnny Cage gets in, it's not even guaranteed that he's going to even get anything out of it. The reason why I say that is because the m most the opponent's going to be worried about is just dealing with your mix-up. You, you understand what I'm saying? And then you going for a, another high. That, that's literally what they're going to worry about. Now, granted, you can mix in a throw there and then get them some, give them something else to think about. But if you pay attention to a lot of these characters' combo things compared to Johnny's, and I'm not downplaying this, but I've, I've noticed it. I've literally noticed it. Johnny Cage's combo strings seem a lot slower than other characters' combo strings in this game. And I mentioned this when I was looking at that fucking uh, character breakdown they were doing of, Kent, uh, of, of uh, Johnny Cage, where I was like, his combo strings seem kind of fucking slow compared to other characters in this game. Like, I've gone against Liu Kang. Liu Kang's combo strings are pretty fucking quick. I've gone against other characters in this game where their combo strings are quick. A prime example is Kenji's 1-4-1, which is his main bread and butter. 
It's one of his best combo strings, if not his best combo string. And the nigga can move ridiculously quick off of that combo string. I'm not even joking, right? Now, now like I said, back to the main point, uh, he struggles in the neutral. That is his biggest, biggest weakness. Even when you get to Stargate, if the opponent is really experienced like this motherfucker, they know what you are looking for when you go into that Stargate. They're doing, you're doing that. Now, when you go into the Stargate, you're putting the fear into the opponent because if they press a button at the wrong time, they can be smacked in the face with the shadow kick and there's nothing they can do because they can't actually break out of it. It's, it they, there's nothing they can do. They have to hold that damage, right? Now in the corner, they might turtle the fuck up. They literally might just turtle the fuck up and just hold block until the Stargate is gone and then they're gonna challenge you because they know that you can get meterless damage off of that Stargate. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's just, it's just, I, I think, I think Johnny Cage's neutral game is bullshit. That, that's, that's basically where, where, where it just boils down. Like his, his neutral game is bullshit. <laughs> I, I'm gonna just be honest. His, his neutral game is bullshit. Compared to his previous versions of himself, it, at least he had shit that made sense. Like, like, let me, let me further elaborate like what I mean. Of course, people are going to argue and say that cameos can be a thing, but you're kind of destroying what Johnny Cage needs in order to succeed in a match. Like literally, Kano helps him out a lot in terms of like being able to set up shit but even when you set up shit there's times where you could potentially get punished just for setting up his taunt and it's crazy how like the kenchi player can call out sento at will when he freezes me or when he ends his combo a certain way and my shit is just completely different i can get punished just for trying to charge up my star gauge like you can see who works harder than who in this match like and I, i'm not even joking I, i'm not even joking like, but you know, like I said, I, I think that what, what the problem is with Johnny is that his neutral game is garbage. Like it's, it's garbage. You, you're gonna have to work if you're trying to get in. And going against more experienced opponents that know about Johnny Cage's range, they're gonna know what to use to keep this nigga out and, and, and shit. And what I'm saying is like, they're gonna spam projectiles. They're gonna try and out neutral you with their range of their normals and shit. They're gonna go for counter pokes mainly did not allow this nigga to get in and if you look i com i correctly spaced that fucking back three out right there because i was hoping his ass was getting ready to do something stupid and he did he didn't fucking do it you, you see what i'm saying because i know the range of my damn attacks it's just the fact that like they're not as effective as these characters attacks which is bullshit because you gave every other character in this game their shit back but you didn't give johnny cage his shit back and of course people would be like well you can still do well with johnny i'm not saying that but don't get it twisted. This nigga's neutral game is garbage. I don't think it, I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good because it seems like you have to do a lot of risking in in, in order. But let, let's just put it this way: the risk is not matching up to the reward completely. I, I'm gonna put it that way. Compared to other characters that I've seen in this game, and, and I'm not downplaying this character at all because, like I said, when he has the star gauge and he has your back pushed into the corner, uh, you understand what I'm saying? He could he could do some shit. Right? Like, I'm not going to cap. Especially if you know what you're doing with this character, right? He can do some shit. However, however, when your ass is not in that corner, bro, and shit, even mid-screen, it, it, dude, come on, man. Like, 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 and even when he's pressuring you, nothing's guaranteed. Because you can armor, you can reversal with your cameo fighter and get invincibility frames. You can literally go for your fatal blow. You can poke me through my damn pressure. Like, come on, bro. Like, like, and, and like, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, like, I don't think Johnny's gonna stay S tier for very long. Like, I, I don't think, because motherfuckers are saying he's S tier right now, but like I said, I don't think Johnny is, maybe when he's with the right, maybe when he's with a certain cameo, they're considering him S tier, but when there's more time put into this game, especially with the other DLC characters coming out and cameo fighters coming out that can potentially make characters like Kenshi even stronger, bro, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I don't think Johnny's gonna be S tier anymore. I, 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 I hope that there, like, now it's been rumored that Movado is gonna be a cameo fighter. Now Movado, back in previous MK games, for who don't, for people who don't know who that is, he, he was a member of the Black Dragon in a sense, right? But he had mobility, right? Movado had like really good mobility. So if Movado is gonna be a thing in this game, I'm wondering if they're gonna make it to where he has really good mobility to where he can assist you with mobility in this game, right? If that's the case, I'm gonna experiment the fuck out of that shit with Johnny Cage. Like, I'm not even joking, because that could actually help Johnny Cage in the neutral dramatically. Because Kano, Kano can help extend his combos even further. Strikers can to actually do that as well. But it, it, it's just, 
It's just that when you get in, you need to make a statement. Like you, you need to make them hurt once you finally get in. But once you finally get in, nothing is guaranteed. Like I said, they're they're literally just gonna sit there and just hold block the entire time. And even when you go for your mix-ups, they're they're extremely reactable. Like I'm, I'm not even joking. Like Johnny Cage's Johnny Cage's 50s are technically reactable compared to other characters' mix-ups in the game. And I'm not I'm not even joking. I'm not even trying to downplay that shit. But but you have to condition them as well to getting them used to shit. And you have to create very powerful mind games with this character. So I, I don't really have anything else to say. I, I do think that Johnny Cage's um, Johnny Cage's neutral game is the weakest thing about him. Like like it, it, it is the weakest weakest thing about him. Like I'm talking about. I don't think I've ever seen Johnny Cage this weak before in the neutral in a very long time. And this is this is this is a brand new take for me because even in MK9 he didn't have the greatest range on his normal, but he had projectiles to make up for the lack of range that he had access to in his fucking normal. You, you understand what I'm saying? And in this game, it's dramatically different. It's like, like, like I gotta get in on this nigga, and then he can kind of play like this weird ass keep away game and shit. And then like when it comes to like certain other characters, they can keep spamming projectiles from full screen and shipping me the fuck out. And I, I don't have a projectile to challenge that. And then there's times where I have no choice but to spend a bar of meter and sacrifice my health just to get in. And then on top of that, it's not even guaranteed that I'm gonna get anything even when I'm in it. When I'm in, when I'm getting in on you. You know what I mean? Like when I'm pressuring the fuck out of you like this, like it's not even guaranteed. You you understand what I'm saying? Like I have to bait you and do shit like this in order in order to like really do something with Johnny. You you know what I'm saying? And when Johnny gets you in the corner though, like with the star gauge as well, like and you you're you're doing you're you're getting his uh his pressure game down correctly, you you can do some shit um, to a certain degree, but. Against a more experienced opponent, you're gonna notice the difference. But um, that's all I really gotta say. Um, I, I think Kenshi's uh, central stance is kind of cheap. The fact that like he can block my attacks and then still attack me at the same time—that shit is bogus as fuck. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a complainer apparently. So uh, yeah, I, I definitely think I definitely think when when this game gets a little bit older or people get more experienced with this game and understand this game a lot better. Johnny's not going to be considered S tier no more. Um, but don't quote me on that because there might be a cameo fighter that can make him dumb. They might even buff up the character even more, which, you know, you, you don't want this character to be dumb as shit. I don't want him to be dumb as shit. I just want him to have better range on his fucking normals. If you give him better range on his normals, I'll shut the fuck up. I, I'll just have to deal with everything else. But the fact that like you gave him short range normals and he has to risk shit in the neutral with his special moves is bullshit compared to other characters in the game. Like, look how dumb that is. Like, how, how does that make any sense? So, you know, it is what this game. It, 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 it is what it is, man. This, this game is Mickey as hell. Hollywood's newest star. Fatality. Johnny Cage wins. <laughs> <laughs>